everybody. Second video here of the day for you. Ancient America video. If you have a chance, check out my earlier one. I made over 2,000 videos, and that one I uploaded earlier is probably, I consider, one of my top 10 videos I've done. I'm not even that big of a Christmas song guy, but if you have a chance, check it out. We're going to go down to Oregon today. This place goes way back in history. It's right down here. Here's the location of the caves. There are about four of them right down here. But if we look at the geology of this area, you can tell this is a massive dried up lake. There is still the remains of Summer Lake right up there. But if we go right down here, you can see the, the rings of the ancient lake pretty clearly right there. And they go all the way around the lake here, all the way to the other side also. Occupation here goes back 14,000 years before the supposed Clovis entered the scene. This would have been a totally different world here. It would have been mastodons, camels, other extinct megafauna, Roman area here. Here's the location. This is just one of many sites that I have talked about in my Ancient America series that predates the Clovis. But a totally different world here than 14,000 years ago. People were hanging out in caves. And it didn't seem like they were really living here for too long. It seems they were just stopping by. There was a study done on some... How can I put this on some poop? Let's just go to a pic taken in this area right here. Here's an archaeologist by one of the cave openings. I'm going to share a couple stories here from last summer that I found while looking for ancient history news videos. You notice how elevated it is? That would have been water 14,000 years ago. Here's a story from August of last summer. Archaeologists locate earliest known North American settlement. Going way back in time, it says the earliest known North American settlement has been located Paisley Five Mile Point Caves in southern Oregon near the Fremont Winema National Forest has been officially added to the list of the most important archaeological sites in the United States by the U.S. Park Services under the authority of the National Historic Preservation Act of 1966. The caves have been a popular archaeological site since 1938, but with advances in carbon dating. And other tools, the site offers up new discoveries even today. Here they are, the research team carrying out work in Paisley Caves. It says in 2002, Dr. Dennis L. Jenkins, archaeologist and field school supervisor for Oregon State Museum of Anthropology in the University of Oregon, and his students began to reassess the caves explored by Cressman. And this place was originally explored in the 1930s and all the way up into the 1960s. In 2008, reported that human DNA in coprolites, and that is another name for feces, dated between 14,000 and 15,000 years ago, had been found, leading them to believe humans have been in the Americas at least 1,000 years before the Clovis people. It says the team tested soil, gravel, and sand separately, as well as obsidian and bone tool fragments, sage cordage, grass threads, cut animal bones, wooden pegs and debris left over from fire pits, along with Pleistocene animal bones. and says the human feces were considered an important find and were sent to Dr. Eski Wilserlev, director of the University of Copenhagen Center for Excellence, or Center of Excellence in Geogenetics. That's a mouthful, but here's the location of Paisley Caves. But they also found a lot of dog feces, so they think the people 14,000 years ago 14,000 to 15,000 years ago, we're living and uh, hanging out with dogs, just like we do today. It says human mitochondrial DNA was the same as the peoples already have known to have first migrated from Asia to the Americas and multiple radiocarbon dates that calibrated to over 14,000 years ago, predating the earliest Clovis sites by over 1,000 years. Right down here, they have a video attached if you want to check it out. This link will be one of few left below. Of course, people question this. They question the research here. And then in 2009, they got back some studies that kind of confirmed what they already had found. It says additional work completed in 2009 revealed a ser serrated bone that also predated the Clovis population. And the study of coprolites was reaffirmed. But there is a look at Paisley Caves, human occupation, going way back in history here. I will also leave a link for this video, the one that's on the website here, and coprolites, am I even saying that right? 
I'm not sure. That might be a crappy pronunciation of that word. This is also from last summer from physics.org. Archaeologists state the earliest known occupation in North America. There's that pic we saw before. And it goes over the dogs here. It says the biomarkers in one of the samples revealed that there was mixed dog and human lipids and DNA present, suggesting that the dogs were consuming the feces. We know dogs do this today, and the fact that we have dogs doing this at Paisley is really strong evidence that these were domesticated and living alongside people 14,000 years ago. There's one more article from last summer from the University of Oregon. Paisley Cave study uncovers a new scoop on ancient poop. Here is Dennis Jenkins at the Paisley Cave site. It says their aim to re-examine the site sediments and coprolites or ancient fecal remains in hope of resolving a long-standing debate about when the first people arrived in North America. One of the fragments retested was dated to roughly 14,000 years before presence, giving us a direct radiocarbon age of a pre-Clovis cultural artifact and confirming the stratigraphic integrity of cave sediments. It says, our understanding is driven forward by skepticism. When some question the accuracy of the DNA findings, scientists pursued novel approaches to confirm them. When multiple studies point to the same result, we gain much greater confidence in our findings. So some good work done. 21 individual samples were dated in this recent study. It says the study demonstrates that there was probably some degree of DNA movement from younger human occupations into older sediments. People were indeed living in Paisley Caves much as 14,200 years ago to confirm the age of one of the coprolites. The authors also radiocarbon dated a bulrush fiber artifact likely a fragment of a basket or a mat. It says together, the results confirm that the Paisley coprolites are the oldest directly dated human remains in the Western Hemisphere. Here's one more story. Lake County Examiner evidence shows early habitation of Paisley Caves. And there is a good look at this cave here. They say this is the earliest occupation in North America. Well, that's a pretty bold claim. I've talked about sites that go back 15, 25,000 years on my channel, one in California that goes back over 100,000 years where humans were dismantling a mastodon bone for marrow in San Diego, the Cerruti site, I believe that is called. So that is a pretty bold claim to make. But there is a look at the entrance to the cave site. It says a preserved dung helped by the dry southeastern Oregon heat shows that the people that called the caves home had a varied diet and did not rely on hunting big game such as mammoths. I made a video on kind of debunking the whole Clovis migrating across the land bridge 13 and a half thousand years ago and wiping out not only the mastodons and the mammoths, but every single megafauna species out there. I think that's just a ridiculous story. I know Randall has stated that also, but I think that story is a big bunch of doo-doo, so kind of fits in here. <laughs> it says included in the information was digested seed coatings, rodent bones, and other castings of insects along with organic compounds from plants. So it seems they had a pretty varied diet. It says what you largely find is that maybe they were hunting large animals sometimes, maybe. But on a day-to-day -day basis, their diet was a lot more varied and diverse. So that's a lot of information from a cave site, 14,000 plus years old here. Well, that is Paisley Caves right down there. Today, pretty harsh environment. A long time ago, very watery. I had a lot of animals around here. Early humans in North America. That is one of the earliest sites we have right down there. I will say that. That's a cool video to do today. It goes good with my Ancient America series. Once on the shore, a very ancient lake. People living in a different world. Check out that video that I uploaded earlier from Dendal singing that Christmas song. I'll leave the link below. I thought that was cool and you all have very nice day.